the main goal of this program, though, today is to make you forget all about that bad loss on Tuesday night, because there's been a lot of reasons for optimism, and so we're not going to get bogged down. We're going to chug some green Kool-Aid and get feeling good and tell you why this team is still going to accomplish its loftiest goals, and it all starts with the Forsberg Four. So again, I know there's been some bumps in the road, and I, as much as anybody, lose my mind, but there's been a lot of good here as well, especially on that three-game winning streak. And I'm going to give you some numbers this week that might pull you back from the ledge that I was admittedly standing on for most of last night. All right, and that starts with 97%. That's the Celtics' chances at securing a top two seed. Okay, if someone told you coming into the season that the Celtics were going to be a top two seed in the Eastern Conference and you could take it or leave it, what would you do? You probably would have taken it. Now, I know, we all get greedy. They were the number one seed for so much of the season. It was disappointing, and Malcolm Brogdon said as much, to watch the Milwaukee Bucks leapfrog them. There is a, still a slight chance. The Celtics have a 13.2% chance at securing the one seed. A lot has to happen. It starts with Thursday night's visit to Milwaukee and trying to win that, and they would still have to make up some games after that. But they could secure the tiebreaker with the Bucs and at least make a play for it. If they don't, they're pretty locked in to number two. Again, only a 3% chance of slipping down because of the 76ers' struggle. So you start looking ahead and road mapping. Maybe the Hawks, maybe the Heat in round one, as much as those teams might give you a little pause, like the Celtics are going to be favored. You start looking ahead to round two, maybe that's the Sixers. They've had some good luck there. So it still could be Celtics Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm just saying, as much as we lose our minds about individual losses, hang in there. Number two, 4.6. That is Boston's league-leading point differential versus all the other nine teams that top the league in point differential. And why does this matter? This is what I keep coming back to, the only thing that gives me hope. The Celtics play their best basketball against the best competition. Yes, they have struggled with the Orlando Magic. They can't beat the Washington Wizards without Bradley Beal and Kyle Kuzma. But in situations where they've needed to raise their level of play, they have done it. And so I would hope, as maddening as that is to watch during the regular season, that when the games matter, and having been on this stage before, the Celtics will take it up a level. The Celtics right now are 15-8 and eight against those teams that reside in the top 10 in point differential. The only team better is the Bucs. That could actually flip-flop on Thursday night, and the Celtics would have the best record in basketball. The other thing that I thought was surprising here, Boston's offensive rating against those teams, 119.1. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, all those guys are more motivated when they go up against the best of the best, and they better bring that when the playoffs roll around. On to number three, 110.7. That is Boston's defensive rating since Robert Williams returned to the lineup in mid-December. Up until that game against the Wizards the other night, that was the best defensive rating in the league since that point. And so, like, look, I'm not putting this all on Rob. I'm going to put most of it there because Rob has – impacted him when he's on the court. But in general, we had this notion that the Celtics, because at the start of the year, had a historic offense and the 21-5 and five start. But really, since then, the offense is cool. They're middling in, in terms of where they rank in the league, probably 15th or 16th since that point. But the defense has been excellent and gone up a level, especially in that three-game winning streak that preceded the loss. I thought Celtics played some of their best defense of the year with their personnel finally healthy. There have been too many lapses, especially in that game against the Wizards. But if the Celtics focus in, if they have everybody healthy, they can get back to being the defense first team that propelled them to the finals last year. And I think that is key. As much as we sit here and think that they are live by the three, die by the three team, they can't embrace that. They have to be getting back to the defense first mentality. The fourth number here, 27.9. That's what the mass superhero Jalen Brown is averaging since having to don that mask and the facial fracture last month. He has been otherworldly. And the one thing that I'll, the other thing that here that gives me hope is that you know Jason Tatum is going to be great in the playoffs. You know Marcus Smart is going to dig in defensively. Playoff Al goes to another level. Jalen Brown has been a different player in recent weeks, and there's cer certainly the All NBA push that he is trying to make right now. But if you get this level of Jalen, I don't know if he has to keep the mask on through the playoffs or whatever. If his mom needs to tell him that, we'll make it happen. But if he plays to this level more often than not, this team is going to be successful, and they need that to be the ultimate level of Celtics in the playoffs. And Jalen was, of course, named Eastern Conference Player of the Week on Monday. He averaged more than 31 points and eight rebounds as the Celtics went 3-0 against the Kings, Pacers, and Spurs. Let's take a look back. Two 
these days is arms and back. Jalen gets boxed up in the air and finishes strong. Good defensive possession here from Sacramento, but Jalen busted up anyway. The two for one here for the Pacers. Oh, good defense. Absolutely. Brown. Too strong. That's white hands. Great hands. Great hands. Strong finish. That's just next level. Move. Oh my goodness. This is too good. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, that one. Accelerates for two. It was so easy for him. I know. Get him up.